My CCIE journey starts today, and in this video, we're gonna talk about why I'm doing this and set up what this playlist is gonna be all about. I am publicly declaring that I am going for my CCIE enterprise infrastructure, and that's what this video is all about. This video is going to be setting up my playlist that's going to be rolling out at least weekly, so that way I can stay accountable for what's going on. So let's start off with the whys and the hows, and let's set up what this video is all about. First of all, this video is shot in 4K because I wanted to see this shirt in 4K. And second of all, there's going to be lots of stock footage throughout this video, like this stock footage right here because I spent a lot of money on that stock footage and I wanna use it, get my bang for my buck, so to speak. So maybe if you see random stock footage throughout the rest of this video, you'll get a good laugh out of it. So where is all this coming from? Well, recently on social media, I made a post that said I have a lot more free time on my hands and I wanna dedicate some of that time towards going for my CCIE. Now, where is all that coming from? Truthfully, I had two jobs for the last year and a half and I got laid off from one of them. That's okay. COVID-19 is really having its impact on the world right now. Millions of people have lost their jobs as part of this. And one of the organizations that I worked for when I was the director of IS for the LSU Foundation had layoffs and I was part of that. After digesting this information for a couple weeks, I have found a lot of really positive things coming out from that. Before I dig into those positive things, let me say right now, I've got no grudges, no ill will, nothing bad at all to say about the LSU Foundation. It was an amazing place to work and I would recommend working there to anyone. And this doesn't impact my opinion towards the LSU Foundation. I'll still donate to them and everything. But getting laid off is just part of life for a lot of people. And the positive things that have come out of this experience is, first of all, now I can focus more on my health. Working two jobs, you tend to sleep a little bit less, you tend to exercise a little bit less, and I can start focusing on getting a little more rest and getting a little more exercise, and then mentally spending a lot more time with my family, which is really important. But secondly, I can now dig into one of my true passions, and that's working for CBT Nuggets. I can dedicate myself solely to CBT and producing training content for the world. CBT Nuggets had a major impact on my life. They're what I use to study all the way from the very beginning when I got my Network Plus years ago, up to where I am today. So being able to give back to that facility, that organization that played such a role in my life, it really means a lot to me. They've also been there for me from day one, so I can't speak highly enough about them too. Now, why the CCIE? Why would I go for the CCIE and not something like Azure Architect or something like that? This comes down to a personal preference that I really just like working with the Cisco command line. I just do, I don't know what that's all about. I mean, that's not to take away from all the automation stuff that I love too. I love automating networks with Ansible and Python, and I'm gonna show you how to do that later this week, how I'm standing up my CCIE labs with Ansible. But I just feel more comfortable working with networking devices in general, and I also feel like I have unfinished business when it comes to getting Cisco certifications. I'm a very competitive person, especially with myself. I don't think I'm the best version of me that I can be right now, and that's why I want to get to the CCIE. That way I feel like I will have achieved a pinnacle version of Cisco certification. Now I'm not saying this like, oh, I'll just go get it. No, of course, like this is the CCIE we're talking about. This is a real Hall. And that's what the purpose of these videos is really all about. It's to hold myself accountable. This is a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's something that I'm going to have to tackle over months and months and months to come. So by making a weekly post, maybe at the end of each week, to tell you what I've studied this week, how I think it went, this is really holding me accountable or helping you hold me accountable to making sure I'm still progressing towards my goal of getting the CCIE. It's also going to be exciting as I learn things. I can kind of demo what I've learned and how it's going this week and so on. And beyond that, I can dig into other components of infrastructure that I think are really cool, certainly things that are emerging, like SD-WAN, and then even record some of that content for CBT Nuggets. So this video serves the purpose of just saying, I'm going for it, I'm committed, I'm all in. In the next video, we're going to break down the CCIE exam lab topics, and I'm going to tell you what my strategy is right now for biting off little pieces of this thing at a time, how I'm going to attack this monster over the course of the next few months. Then I'm going to wrap up this week by talking about what are the tools, the books, the labs, everything that I'm using up till this point. All of these things are going to change over the next year or so, but I'm letting you know how I'm thinking about this thing right now. So let's start off with accountability. How am I thinking about this thing right now? The CCIE is a gigantic lab, right? It's massive. 
you have to know a tremendous amount of topics going into this thing. Now, I've never taken a CCIE lab exam myself. I've only read a lot about it, but you have to be in a good mental state when you get started from the very beginning in order to take on this machine. I know that this is going to be a long studying process. And the first step towards getting into the CCIE is the written exam, which is actually the Encore exam. Now that's something that I've already been preparing for and going for because I only need to take my Encore exam to get my CCMP. Since I already got my DevNet Professional and I took the Inauto exam to get that, it also counts towards the CCMP. So once I tackle the Encore exam, that'll serve as my CCIE written as well as bump me up to CCMP. I hope to tackle that by October. It really depends on how quarantine goes because I'm still here with my family, which is awesome, but it still, you know, it still prohibits me from studying all day long like I would like to do. So the plan right now is to take the Encore exam. And how am I preparing for it this week? Well, I'm actually reading the Inarsi textbook. And you're like, wait, Encore, Inarsi? I kind of have this thought that if I truly master the routing and services portion of the exam by looking at the Anarsi topics, then the Encore versions of it will be easier. So this week I'm focused heavily on BGP. But upfront, I'm aware that this is going to be a year or more long journey, and I'm also aware that failing the CCIE lab exam is just a rite of passage. Everybody fails it, or at least most people fail it. So I am also preparing for the scenario where I go into the CCIE lab and don't come out successful. Look, I'm, we're all human, right? And failing exams is just part of life. That's not to say that I'm making excuses now. I am going to go into that exam on the first try and attempt to pass it on the first try. I'm gonna give it everything I've got. But I am aware of the reality and the difficulty of this exam. So this video has been my declaration that the journey starts today. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. I'll see you in the next one.